All right, in this video, we're going to go over the T public settings and I'll show you how to adjust those to your liking so that you can take advantage of Merch Titan's automation to fully automate your design uploads to T public. Now, with that being said, you can see I have T public enabled here. Again, I do have the spreadsheet we uh, created in the first video, and all the other settings are good to go. So, I'm going to come over to the T public tab here and adjust those settings to my liking. Again, you can see here we have all the same features for title, description, and tags. One thing you'll notice with TeePublic is it has the main tag column, which is a feature that's unique to TeePublic. They have a section where you can insert the main tag for each product. So that's column E, and in your spreadsheet, uh, spreadsheet you can see we filled that out. So now we'll come down to the products that TeePublic offers and enable and disable the ones that we don't want. So t-shirt, tank top, long sleeve t-shirt, baseball tee. So kids won't work for this. Crew neck hoodie, kids, kids, and onesies. So I think we're good there. So now I have the products enabled that I like that work with my design. So I'm gonna move on to the colors. And again, as you've seen in the last video, or the previous videos, I've been using black because it looks the best for my type of design. So I'm gonna change everything to black. And then select dark colors. And again, the hexadecimal code, this works much like Redbubble. Uh, you want to put in the hexadecimal code number here. And you can always Google that for whatever color you prefer. And that will go on all the other products that are not listed here. So pretty much all the accessory items. So just like that, uh, T public settings are done. Now let's go ahead and start up the app and see how that looks. So again, you'll need to sign in, and once you sign in, the automation will take over. And there we go. Now it's uploading the, the design, and then it'll insert the data here, and it'll go through and choose and disable the products that we don't want, and then change the color to the proper colors. As you can see here, this image isn't large enough to support all wall art, wall art options, which they'll just be de disabled by default. But you see the data is being put in here and everything's being adjusted. Yeah, it looks great. So once that's done, it'll go ahead and submit it and then it'll loop through the spreadsheet and start on the next row and go all the way until finished or until your max uploads are hit which you have full control of in the Merch Titans Automation app. And you see how it takes a little bit longer to submit. The reason that is because we have the speed at medium and we can even go slower if we like to slow or go fast, which would be the fastest we offer. But there it is, that product submitted. Now it's looping through to the next row of data and it'll continue to upload. So I hope you can start to see the value of this application when you have every platform enabled, you have all your data in a spreadsheet, and let's say it's 100 plus uh, designs that you need uploaded, you can get all the settings uh, set up exactly how you like, click start on the application with all 10 plus platforms enabled, and then let that run. And it will save you a lot of time. And the reason I'm saying 10 plus platforms too is because with Printful alone you have um, Shopify, Etsy, Amazon, eBay and multiple different stores you can upload to. So counting those, we actually automate over 10 plus print on demand platforms. Anyway, that's it for the T public settings. As you can see, everything's running smoothly in the background. Um, so we'll see you in the next video where we cover Teespring and then the final video will be Zazzle and then I'll go to Merch by Amazon.